I got to be a, a page in Congress because of uh, friends of, of my dad's that uh, let me do that. So I had a great up. It was our about second week on the job, and we were in the middle of a roll call vote. And I'm sitting up there on the rostrum taking notes of who, who's voting and who's not. And uh, then Senator Joe Biden walks in and says, come with me, I've got somebody I want you to meet. Um, so I leave my duties as a page, which is probably something I shouldn't have done, but went down and he actually introduced me to the Dalai Lama. Here we were, high school juniors, on the floor of the Capitol, and then all of a sudden we're meeting the Dalai Lama. It was an unbelievable experience. Like much of Washington, the PAGE programs were not immune to scandal. In the early 1980s, two congressmen were censured by the House for engaging in sexual relations with PAGES. The program was placed on hiatus, and a board was created to ensure the PAGES were protected from such behavior. But the seeds had been planted for those who would later argue that young people were a liability to Congress. There had been a, a handful of scandals in history of members of Congress having inappropriate interactions uh, with the young people in the House, and quite frankly, the leadership was tired of managing that problem. In 2006, a congressman was accused of sending explicit messages to several former House pages. There were a number of people who were concerned about Congressman Foley. Some of the supervisors found his interaction with the kids on the House floor weird for want of a different term. He didn't have any contact with the pages in an immoral way while they were there, but he did send emails to male pages who had left the service of the House. An investigation was launched and the congressman resigned. Five years later, House leaders abruptly announced the end to their page program, citing cost and changes in technology. The excuse was made that uh, the five and a half million dollars that it cost to operate the uh, program was a waste and that uh, the kids had been replaced by technology. I must believe that the reason was this could happen again and neither of us needs the uh, problem. If we get rid of the uh, young people, we're not gonna have that problem. 